Um, the next one is from uh, Joe Troller, and the subject is Jim Cornette versus Becky Lynch. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll be honest with you. I think Joe Troller is hugey. Cause, cause let me. I'm going to read you this email, okay? Right. So we banned Hughie from the show, right? Right. And so I think Hughie's trying to get some questions in through Joe Troll, right? right? Listen to this email now. Let's remind you. Let's go back to the history of Joe Troll. Right. When we first started, what, what, what was his, he was kind of like? He's insulting me every email. He's very vulgar. Right. You know, yeah, just really, just you know, out, out of line, right? Right. So listen to this one. Okay, and this under the premise that I think Hughie is trying to trying to be Joe Troller here. Okay, right. Good morning or afternoon, guys. So I'm reading WrestleZone.com here, and there's an article about Jim Cornette trashing Becky Lynch in her pregnancy. Listen to me, Jim Cornette is full of crap. If something gets pressed, he buries it so he can get a whole bunch of clickbait out of it. Plus, he's saying that Dana Brooke is ugly. I've seen some images of that whole, that whale that Cornette is dating, and she's just a fat goth slob that looks like Ozzy Osbourne Come after on. a bare knuckle fight. I'd bang Dana Brooke. We all would. I hear many have. So what I'm asking you guys, what's your take on Cornette bashing Becky Lynch? And do you think that he's for real or faking it for attention? Plus, if he does mean it, do you think he's kind of stupid for him to be talking like that in today's PC climate? I mean, what's going to happen? Is Cornette going to get canceled? He's on with... Uh, he's already been canceled. Yeah. He's just still on his podcast yeah. and he's got his base. So because it's like, you know. because his, his guy, he, his co-host Brian Last, that's his network. Right. He's not going anywhere, no matter what he said. Right. So, I but mean, Cornette... Well, Cornet just tells it like he he, he, he Cornet doesn't apologize for anything he says. He 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 tells us he talks he says his opinions. Of course, some people don't like it. He's going to be the other in this day and age. You're going to have the you know the people get offended. And the one thing, bro, that you have to you have to um, what do you call this? Compliment on him because even I had to change my ways. Mm -hmm. Is he's losing money over this? Right. He don't give a fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's getting yeah he, he's getting honest you're getting honesty from him, yeah. I guess but he but he, yeah him saying the Dana Brooke take was bad well, I did not see that she does not like she does not come across as ugly to me you know well it was what, part he of called a, her ugly yeah, it was yeah like, he like called her and said she like he insulted her looks I, I don't she's not real <laughs> I don't, good looking but yeah but I it's not look, you don't she's not, not a dog either. Right, definitely not like a, a typical like like indie girl wrestler that you would see. This does not. It's too ugly. What is to funny about her, her and the, now this is one thing, and I don't know if you've noticed it, bro. They've given her a lot of different gimmicks and chances, like mm -hmm. a lot. You know, like she's the new Alicia Fox. Nothing. His take on on uh, on Dana Brooke was part of an overall bashing of pl of plastic surgery, though, saying the girls are getting too much plastic surgery. And they're looking too plastic, and that's what he said. You know, Dana's gotten too much work done, in his opinion. Well, I would agree with that. 